get into the news and uh, a soldier has been rushed to hospital after being stabbed outside the Brompton Barracks. The Brompton Barracks are in Kent. Yes, the victim, <laughs> who's in his 40s, is said to have been in uniform when he was attacked by a man wearing a ski mask. Police have since arrested a 24-year-old. They've arrested him on suspicion of attempted murder. The Defence Secretary, John Healy, has taken to X or Twitter and said, my thoughts are with the soldier and his family who deserve privacy at this difficult time. On behalf of the government, I wish him a swift recovery. We're now joined by former Met Police Detective Peter Blexley um, with his take on this one. Peter, I'm sure like most of us, you're very shocked at uh, this whole situation. Yes, I'm utterly appalled and, of course, my best wishes go to this injured soldier and I hope that he makes a a full and swift recovery, although he is, of course, in a very, very uh, poorly way. Um, I think we need to rewind to 2013 for a potential link to this story. Um, Yesterday, a vile, repulsive preacher of hate, Anjem Chowdhury, was convicted of terrorism offences and he will be sentenced in due course. And rightly so. In 2013, two savages brutally killed a soldier, Lee Rigby, in Woolwich. And one of those murderous beasts was a close devotee of Anjem Chowdhury, no less. I fear that perhaps yesterday's attack may be a response to Chowdhury being convicted by somebody who may well have been brainwashed like the, the people that killed Lee Rigby were. I have no evidence yet to prove this, but it does seem more than merely coincidental, uh, coincidental perhaps. Yes, it's the first thing I thought of, too. Uh, it was almost like too much coincidence. Yet again, um, a man in uniform, somebody of whom we should be intensely proud, I feel, in this country, attacked by uh, another young man, by the sound of it, wearing a ski mask. You know, a cowardly, horrible, brutal attack again. Yes, indeed. Just like the murder of Lee Rigby, that was cowardly and brutal and close to his barracks in Woolwich in South East London. So there are some horrendous, hideous links, of course. Um, Lee Rigby sadly died. Let's hope this soldier pulls through. Lee Rigby's murder left behind his young widow and his son Jack, of course, who then had to spend the rest of his life not knowing his father. A true tragedy and a brutal murder, and now another attempt, it would appear, to murder our courageous members of the armed forces, who I'm sure you and I and many of your viewers and listeners have the utmost respect for. But, but Peter, would it be true to say, uh, and does one sense that these people, just just by wearing their uniform, make themselves a target? Quite possibly. I'm sure that the military will now be issuing directions to those who are living in barracks or other well-known military accommodation to take precautions. But of course, if this is the actions, and I say if, of a deranged lunatic, the likes of which murdered Lee Rigby, then of course it is extremely difficult um, for our military to move around in uniform because those who hate those who would protect our democracy and the rights for us to enjoy everything that we'd like um, if they want to do them harm. Once again, my thoughts are very, very much with this soldier and all those who love him. Yeah. Thank you for those thoughts, Peter. We'll leave it there. Thank you very much. And as we said, it's a 24-year-old man who's been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder.